Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome to our breast sonography board review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question, giving you enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's get started. Question one, which of the following diagnostic imaging modalities is the most important for diagnosing cysts and palpable masses? A, mammography, B, sonography, C, computed tomography, or D, magnetic resonance imaging? The answer is A, mammography. Question two, sonographic characteristics of a cyst include A, strong posterior shadowing, B, the presence of changes within the surrounding tissue, C, an irregularly thin hypoechoic wall, or D, the presence of internal hyperechoic reverberations. The answer is D, the presence of internal hyperechoic reverberations. Question three. This patient showed up for a scheduled ultrasound after palpating a lump in her breast. What is demonstrated in this ultrasound? A, an abscess. B, fibroadenoma. C, adenoma. Or D, pronounced glandular tissue. The answer is D, pronounced glandular tissue. Question four. This is a young patient who presents with a large painful lump in her breast. What is demonstrated in this ultrasound? A, an abscess. B, a cyst. C, fibroadenoma. Or D, pronounced fibroglandular tissue. The answer is D, pronounced fibroglandular tissue. Question five, which of the following best describes this lesion? A, the shape is wider than tall. The margins are microlobulated and shows an abrupt interface. B, round shape with hypoechoic patterns. The margins are indistinct and angular with posterior enhancement. C, the lesions are mostly irregular with indistinct borders and has a hyperechoic halo surrounding the mass. Or D, round shape, the margins are irregular and speculated with some discrete posterior shadowing. The answer is C, this lesion is mostly irregular with indistinct borders and has a hyperechoic halo surrounding the mass. Question six, fat tissue is found in what layers of the breast? A, premammary layer, B, mammary layer, C, retromammary layer, or D, all of the above? The answer is D, all of the above. Question seven, which artery supplies the superior portion of the breast? A, internal mammary artery, B, thoracochromial artery, C, lateral thoracic artery, or D, intercostal artery? The answer is B, thoracochromial artery. Question eight, what does this image represent? A, stepladder sign, B, snowstorm sign, C, linguini sign, or D, teardrop sign? The answer is B, snowstorm sign. Question nine, what hormone stimulates TDLU growth? A, estrogen, B, prolactin, C, progesterone, or D, oxytocin? The answer is C, progesterone. 
Question 10. A milk producing female can have how many breast lobes? A, 30 to 40, B, 10 to 15, C, 15 to 20, or D, 5 to 10? The answer is A, 30 to 40. Now each breast will have about 15 to 20 lobes. Now each breast will, now each breast will have about 15 to 20 lobes, but each female can have as many as 30 to 40 lobes. Question 11. Which letter indicates the portion that directly drains milk from the lobules into the ductal system? A. B, C, or D? The answer is C, this area right here. Question 12. A likely cause of the finding demonstrated in this ultrasound is A, mastitis, B, silicone leaks, C, reproductive hormones, or D, enlarged lymphatics? The answer is A, mastitis. This ultrasound represents a breast abscess. Question 13. Which structure serves as a reservoir for milk? Two, seven, four, or six? The answer is two right here. Question 14. If you were to click on this image here, what area would you think represents the pectoral muscle? Where would you click on this image? The answer is right here on the bottom of the image. So all of this area right here is the pectoral muscle. So you can click anywhere here, 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 or here. And that's the right answer. Question 15. Which hormone causes connective tissue to elongate and grow? A, progesterone, B, prolactin, C, oxytocin, or D, estrogen? The answer is D, estrogen. Question 16. The arrow is pointing to the area representing what sonographic sign? A, droplet sign. B, snowstorm sign. C, linguine sign. Or D, stepladder sign. The answer is C, linguine sign. Question 17. What potential abnormal sign is demonstrated in the right breast? A, stepladder sign. B, linguine sign. C, droplet sign. Or D, snowstorm sign. The answer is C, droplet sign. So let me pause this MRI and manually scroll to the area right here. And if you can look right here, you can appreciate there are some hyperechoic, hyperdense, small round structures right here in the right breast. This is the droplet sign. Question 18, what is the advantage of positioning the patient 
in the contralateral posterior oblique position. A, provides good visualization of the upper outer quadrant, the axillary tail, and the inframammary fold. B, it allows the accurate comprehensive staging in the diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer. C, rounds the breast tissue into the natural formation so that the transducer is parallel with the skin, reducing angle shadowing. Or D, minimizes breast thickness so that tissues can be penetrated with the higher frequency transducer with better focusing. The answer is D. It minimizes breast thickness so that tissues can be penetrated with a higher frequency transducer with better focusing. Question 19. Which hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland in the brain responsible to help the alveoli make milk? A. Progesterone hormones. B. Luteinizing hormones. C. Prolactin hormones or D, estrogen hormones. The answer is C, prolactin hormones. Question 20. This breast ultrasound represents A, intracapsular rupture, B, extracapsular rupture, C, abscess, or D, complex cyst. The answer is B, extracapsular rupture. You can see down below, all this haziness down here, this represents the snowstorm sign. Question 21, which area contains the stromal vascular fraction? Two, this region here. Six, this region here. Three, this region here. Or seven, this region here. The answer is seven, this area right here. Question 22. The primitive or early mammary gland begins developing during what week of embryological life? A, sixth week, B, eighth week, C, fourth week, or D, the fifth week? The answer is C, the fourth week. Question 23. This view has an advantage of providing good visualization of the upper outer quadrant, the axillary tail, and the inframemory fold. A. 5 degrees oblique projection. B. 180 degrees oblique projection. C. 45 degrees oblique projection. Or D. 90 degrees oblique projection. And the answer is C, 45 degrees oblique projection. Question 24. Which of the following vessels directly drains blood from the breasts? A, superior mammary vein. B, axillary artery. C, brachiocephalic vein. Or D, internal mammary vein. The answer is D, internal mammary vein. Question 25. Which of the following refers to the examination of lactiferous ducts using a contrast medium? A, mammography using the standard views. B, sonography. C, saliography. Or D, galactography. And the answer is D, galactography. Well, that completes our first 25 questions of breast sonography board review. I will hurry and write 25 more questions and upload that video as soon as I can. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching.